Hello friends, this is Soft Reason. Welcome everyone to this lesson. In this lesson, we will be looking at how to add Polaris connection, just like this, this one. Okay. In the last uh, three lessons I did, we were able to fix orange connection and as well as uh, other connections in this simple state structure. But in this lesson, we'll be focusing on polar connection. We will be resolving such issue. And so, if you are new on the channel, for you to be able to stay tuned and stay connected, you have to subscribe and as well hit on the bell icon each time I upload lesson of this kind. You will be the first to get notified. Okay, so let's straight away go into the lesson. All right, so this is the lesson structure. Okay. During the last uh, two lessons, I I placed this polyline, and this is a zip polyline. So in this lesson, I want us to change this polyline because uh, the connection does not work effectively with this polyline. That is the reason why I want us to change it to C polyline, and we want to go straight away to the structural type, and then we, we I will activate the beam. All right. After which, I want to upload C polyline. Because in the property drop down, there is no C polyline except the Z polyline. Okay, so you can check there is no C polyline here. So I want to go straight away to load family, click on that. That will take me to load family folder where I will have to navigate to the UK uh, library. I scroll down to structural framing, double click on that, go straight away to light gauge steel. Double click on that and then on the light gauge still I'll be able to uh, check the polines that I'm going to use which is the light gauge C polyline this one so I'll just have to click on that to you know load that uh, polines now I want to select the sections I want to be considered in this lesson I'll select this first one as to be my section okay so click on okay to load that straight away into the uh, property dialog all right so you can see this has been loaded successfully the simple line all right so after having that loaded i'll go straight away i click on modify to exit the command all right and then i'll move straight away to click on one of the polyline just like that once it's, it is selected i right click and navigate to the select all instances under visibility in view i click on that so that all the polines will be selected. Now I want to change this polyline. For me to do that, all the polines being selected, I'll go straight away to the property dialog. I click on that. Then in the drop down menu, I will be able to select uh, this uh, MSX 142C13, okay, which is the C polyline. I click on that. So once I click on that, just like that, you give the program some seconds to load those polines and to change those polines from. Uh, Z polyline to C polyline, as you can see, it has been changed successfully. All right, so I will just have to click on the blank area to deselect the uh, selection. All right, after which I want to be extending these polines so as to have a, so as to have a, a provision for clouding. Okay, so what I will do is I can hold. I want to hold on this uh, node. Hold on that node. Click, hold it, and and pull it. Okay pull it away towards this direction just as I'm doing it okay so once you have that done to some extent I release your hand you see this uh, polyline has been extended successfully okay at the start the structure the polyline I use has been extended just like this that is how I do it, it in that uh, particular uh, structure all right so if you select it again you will notice that uh, if you select it again, you will notice that you have uh, some point here, some arrow here, okay, and then a knot here, all right? So if you want to extend it, you have to hold it on this uh, particular knot and then pull it out to extend that, okay? Just as I have done it. So I want to proceed straight away to the uh, connection, okay? So in the connections, I will click on this uh, arrow here to provide a certain dialogue for the connections. And so... The setting dialog is actually loading. You give the program some seconds to load the setting dialog, all right? 
we are good to go. So in this setting dialogue, the available connections are these ones. And so I want to move straight away to the Polaris connections, which is the one I'm going to use for this uh, lesson. So I will screw down and I'll be considering this Polaris connection. You can also use this uh, Polaris connection with base plate. It will also work. Okay. So I'm going to load these two connections. I'll double click on it to load it to the loaded connections. Uh, provisions. I'll also click double click on this one to have that in this provisions as well. Then I click on OK. So this polyline has been loaded successfully. So I want to start the applications of this polyline to the respective uh, uh, applications of these connections to the respective uh, polylines. Okay. And so for me to do that, I'll click on this connections tab in the connection property dialog. I will straight away click on the drop down menu navigate to the one i just loaded i will be using this polar connections at first to make that active once it's active what i will do is i will just have to select you can either select the polar first hold the control key and select the uh the rafter or you can select the rafter for the pen either way so i'll select the polar first hold the control key and then select the uh, polaris and uh, this rafter all right then i can hit on the enter key on the keyboard or i right click and then select finished so once that is done the connection will be processing now it will take the program some seconds to process the connections and fix that connections successfully so as you can see the connections has been fixed successfully but uh, you will not necessarily be able to see that connections the reason is because of our selection Okay, the right selection is the raster first, followed by the uh, followed by the uh, lines. All right, so you can see the connections has now been placed successfully. You can see. So this is the raster to polines connection. So you can edit this connection if you click on this connection, just like that. Just as I have done in the last two lessons, and then you activate this instance, uh, this override by instance. You see this provision will be prompt, will be prompting. Once it's prompted like this, you can click on that, and then with the setting dialog, the polar connections element setting dialog, we, you can be able to make an adjustment to all of these uh, polar uh, parameters. Okay, uh, but I'll close that. I just want to show you that in this lesson. All right. So having done that, you can also add polines to this one. But this time around, I want to show you how you can use uh, the polyline connection with base plate. All right. It's just the same procedure. You all you just need to do you activate this. You come to the property in the drop down menu. You can also start your uh, connection placement with these generic connections by selecting this uh, rafter hold the control key down and then select the polyline and then you right click and select finished selection to place the instance okay you just place the connection instance all right with this connection instance highlighted just the way it is it goes straight away to the property click in the drop down menu and then scroll down to polyline with, con with co polyline connection with base plate we are with plates. Once you select on that, you give the program some second to process and inside that connection. You can see. So this one comes with base plate. So you can either choose this one or you choose this one. Depending on the one that will be cost effective or the one that will be best for you. Alright, so this is how to actually add connections to uh lines in Revit structure. So what I want to also show you now is if we have uh, successfully extended this polines to have your clouding just the way I've done with this one. You have done search to other ones and you want to populate this polines. You don't need to keep placing it one by one just as I've done in this place and that place. Alright. What you need to do is Having placed this one and you can populate this to other connections point. Okay. By selecting it just like that. Once you select it, right click. Then you click on the propagate 
connections. Once you click, click on propagate connections, let me click on it and you will see what will happen. These connections will be propagated to every other connection point. But you just have to be patient to give the program some seconds to be able to process uh, that. All these uh, connection points, this point, it will be propagated to all the connection points. That is the most uh, useful and a very good uh, a very good part of a uh, structure when it comes to connection placement. All right, it is still in process. All right, so the process is successful. So you can see all these provisions has been has been fixed with connections, as you can see. All right, even including this other side. Okay. So, if you watch closely, you notice that uh, this particular polyence does not uh, have our connections. The reason is because this uh, this member, this rafter is different from this one. This rafter is protrude to this point from these uh, connections. Okay, that is why the connections at this point is not uh, actually fixed successfully. So, for you to fix that, you just have to go back to connection and then you enable the you enable the polarized connections you make sure you rightly select this uh rafter yeah once that is selected order the control key and select this one so once that is selected right click and click on finish selections to place the connection so the connection instances has been placed successfully I want to click on this dotted point. All right, so you can see that the connection now has has been fixed, just like this. So, if you propagate this one, also it will also fix connections at this other uh, point. Okay, so this is just a simple way. You can't easily place connections using a revit uh, structure on the polines. And rafter. So you just have to go straight away to extending these polines just as I've done this and go ahead to placing all your connections you want you want to use just as I have here. I have two uh, two type of connection here. I have the connection with base plate here and I also have a polines connection without base plate you can use either of these ones to do your connection uh, placement of uh, polines and also for the colored the rafter and the polines colored if you want to do that uh, that is not a difficult task I will first of all click on the blank space to actually exit the command if you select this polines now This polyline is selected successfully. I'll go straight away to edit tag. Click on that. Uh, sorry, not these provisions. I'll close that. You scroll down to this place. See material here. So if you click on this material, this three dotted point, it takes you to where you can change the the color of uh, the polyline to your choice. Okay. Likewise, the same procedure you can use to change the color of uh, the color of stanchion as well as the rafter. You can do that successfully. So at the end of your lesson, you should be able to, at the end of uh, your practice, sorry, you should be able to have uh, what I'm having here. So you can see the one I've done successfully. Okay. So this lesson is just all about polar collection. And uh, we have able to do that successfully. I want to ask you to like the lesson if you are yet to subscribe subscribe and stay tuned for more advanced lesson